Hi everybody, this is Richard Cook of Wendland Institute. I'm going to give a, a quick demo of some of my favorite Wendland features. It's going to be a bit of a random walk through the current application, um, which may be somewhat different from the application which you uh, have in front of you, but hopefully not too different. Um, you can see I've got the About Wendland page open in front of me. That's was selected from the Wenlin menu about Wenlin. And uh, there's some Chinese text on the screen in front of me. I'm just going to click on one of the characters to open up its dictionary entry. And uh, in this view, you can see that uh, advanced CDL features are enabled. I'll show you how that setting is configured. This is under advanced options under the font menu. You see it says enable advanced CDL features. CDL is uh, Wenlin's internal font format. It's the most advanced uh, CJK font format in the world, by the way. But um, the features that you see in front of you related to CDL um, show that there are a number of glyph variants. This is the stroking box view of uh, Wen, the first character in the name Wen. And um, in the stroking box we can uh, see the character written stroke by stroke. This is what we call variant zero because it's uh, it's the uh, it's not a very special form. It's a default form of the glyph. Um, under variant 1, we've got a slightly different form of the character. See, I'm adjusting the speed here, making it stroke a little bit faster. This is this stroke onset here in the, the T-Na stroke is uh, what makes this glyph variant different. And we've got different combining variants too. This is uh, a left side variant. Here's a top variant. It's got a, these have Dian stroke as the last stroke rather than Na or T Na in that case. It's another uh, variant form. This has got the long leg. And under any of these forms, we can see uh, all the variants that, uh, that use these particular forms. Here if I uh, scroll down and choose as a CDL comp, this will give me the list of all the characters that uh, have the various forms of the character. Um, for example, the long leg form that I just showed you, that's, that's used here. Uh, not in variant 0, but in variant 1. Oh, not variant 1, variant 2 of the character. And that is variant 2. It's also used in this variant. Of uh, variant two of this character, Chan. Chan is an interesting character. Let's uh, look at the seal form. Look at the seal entry here. This is a Shoalwen entry. This is the Shoalwen uh, definition of the character. It says that uh, this character means. Pushing Mao, which uh, is apparently the maybe the the uh, the way that a tiger moves, maybe in slinking movement or something like that. Let's see if uh, if Chan is used in any modern words. Let's scroll down. Yeah, you can see that it's used in um, thirteen compounds altogether. Eleven of these in initial position in the compound and two of these at the end of the compound. Let's look at those two that have it at the end. 
Here's the first uh, first word. Ching Chan, highest about. Here's another one. Chan Chan, reverent, worshipful. I don't know what those words have to do with tigers, but we have to study the uh, the history to find out. Here's the complete list of 13 characters. First one is reverent and sincere. Uh, maybe maybe um, tigers were thought to be serious animals. That's probably the case. I, I wouldn't want to mess with a tiger. Unless he was fooling around. Uh, let's see. There's the seal entry for Wang. This gives a show and entry and it gives uh, quite a bit of of uh, incidental information and contextual information. We have Carbon and Baxter uh, glosses. We have Middle Chinese readings of Wen and of relating related characters. Let's go back now. Uh, to the Wen character, which is a more common word, uh, s syllable character. You can see um, there are some 1,292 words that have it in uh, polysyllabic words that have that have Wen. Uh, here's another example. There are 277 instances of the character. In final position, the most uh, common is Fa Wen, which is French writing. Then comes Tian Wen, astronomy, and so on. So that's a bit of a feature overview. Um, maybe we'll look into more of these features and I'll talk about some common features. Uh, common features in a future episode.